Hi, welcome back. Uh, we continue with the part 2 of the level 2 question. Now is question number 6. Okay, two charged smoke particles exert a force of 4.2 10 to the power minus 2 Newton on each other. What would be the force if they are moved so that they are only one at as far apart? Okay, we have two charges unknown. So let's assume this is the condition. This is assume they are both positive charge. We call this one Q1 at a distance R and this is Q2 a non-distant a non uh, charge but we know something the force is 4.2 okay since they are positive so they will be repelling each other so the force is 4.2 10 to the power minus 2 Newton right that's a force now the distance between them is only one eight, so that means they are nearer. Okay, one eight us apart. Okay, one eight. So now assume that this one is still the same position, Q one. But now the distance I call R prime is only one eight of R, and this is our R two, uh, Q two. So that means the force logically will become stronger. So I call this force F. Prime. Okay, I call it F prime. That's our new force. So we need to form equation. One equation for situation number one, another equation for situation number two. So we call this one situation one, and this one is situation number two. So from a situation number one, using the same equation as we know it, Q1, Q2 over R square. So our force is F. And the K will be the same, Q1, Q2, unknown. But our R, we just simply put R. So that is our first equation. Okay? Of course, no changes are because we don't know this, we don't know that. And then from number 2, situation number 2, this one, it is F prime, okay? Q1, Q2 over R prime squared. That is the only difference. But our R prime is given. 1 add of R. So now we have question uh, equation number 2. So we solve the equation, then we will get the value. Okay. So we divide. Since we want to find the new force, so we divide number 2 by number 1. So when you divide, you get this S prime over F is equal to over R prime squared divide by the next one is k q1 q2 over r square okay flip it over it become r square over k q1 q2 and obviously we can cancel these two terms okay so the left hand side is still the same no changes so we can cancel these two terms okay leaving this one and this one so now we have f prime over f is equal to r square and our r prime is 1 over at r square so this one will become r square over 1 over 64 r square again we can cancel these two and leaving f prime over f is equal to 64 so our f prime will be 64 times f which is that one 4.2 10 to the power minus 2 okay our calculator So that will be 64 multiplied by 4.2, negative 2, so get 2.69, 2.69 Newton, that's okay. 2.69 Newton for the question number 6. Okay, so that is our uh, more difficult question. Normally more difficult question, you need uh, more than one equation to solve the problem. Okay, next one, question 7. Okay, our question 7, two charged balls are 15 centimeter apart, okay, 
two charge ball are 15 centimeter apart. So our R is 15 centimeter. So we assume both are positive. You can actually do for both positive or one positive, one negative. So they are moved. And the force on each of them is found to have been tripled. That means that when you move them, their force become three times stronger. So that means they must be nearer. Okay, so we call this one again, Q1, Q2. And the force as we know it is F. Okay, and then when we move them, the force become three times stronger than F, so become 3F. That means they must be nearer. So we assume Q1 is still in the same position, Q1. And now this one is nearer now. Okay, and this is Q2. So our force will become larger. This is a F prime which is become three times, triple. Same the other side. Okay, we just draw one side now. So the R will be R prime. And this question is actually quite the same as that one, except now we are looking for the new R. Just now that one looking for the new F. Okay. So we again same thing, we call this one situation number one, situation number two, and we form equation again. So first one is F is equal to K Q1 Q2 over R squared. So we don't know the value. Equation one. And then from equation two, we have F prime is equal to K Q1 Q2 over R prime squared. This is equation number two. Now we need to find this. Well, uh, same like that, we divide them. We use number 1 divided by number 2. So we have F over F prime is equal to this over R square. Okay, we reduce the amount of mathematics here. Instead of writing this, we put it immediately to become multiplied. When you become multiplied, it will become this immediately. Upside down. Okay, and we can cancel some of the terms. Same thing, this one. And we rewrite the equation again. F over F prime is equal to R prime over R. Since both of them are square, we can put them together. Okay. So the square now become together. And now we can simplify them further. F and over F prime is 3F. And now this one is R prime over R square. And we can cancel the F here. So now leaving our answer with only 1 over 3 equal to R prime over R. And the square move to the other side becomes square root. So your R prime becomes uh, square root 1 over 3 multiplied by R or R over square root 3. Okay. So since the R is 15 centimeter, okay, so we put in 15 divided by square root 3. 15 divided by square root 3. Okay, so we got this 8.66. Okay, we have 8.66 centimeter. Alright, 8.66 centimeter. Alright, so there are two types of, uh, uh, sorry, the same type of equation for 6 and then number 7. Okay, next we go to number. Eight. Okay, skip number eight. Okay, and skip number eight and number nine. Okay, eight and nine. That one up. Number ten. Okay, we are going to do number ten now. Positive 70, positive 48, and minus 80 microcoulomb are placed in a line. You refer to the diagram uh, below here. Okay. The center one is 0.35 meter from each of the other. Calculate the net force on each charge due to the other two. Okay, so that is our question 10. So we need to draw that uh, diagram 70, 48, minus 80. 
drive a straight line. Three charges. One, two, and three. So we call this Q1 70 microcoulomb, Q2 48 microcoulomb, and Q3 negative 80 microcoulomb. And the distance 0 0.35. Same. This is 0 0.35 meter, 0 0.35 meter. Okay? So this question is quite a long question because it needs to find the forces, the uh, net force on each of the charge. That means you're going to calculate for every one of them. Okay? So the first thing we do is label all the forces. We look at them pair by pair. Q1, Q2 is going to repel. Okay? So they're going to repel this and this. And immediately label the force. This one is F12. This one is going to be F21. Okay, F12 and F21. And then between Q1 and Q3 attract. Okay? Q1 and Q3 attract. Uh, maybe I use different color. Okay, I'm gonna use orange color. Q1 and Q3, they attract. This is their force. So this one is now labeled as F13 and this one is labeled as F31. Okay, F31. And next one is between Q2 and Q3. So now I'm going to use green color. Hopefully you can see the color here. So Q2, Q3 also attract. Okay, they also attract. Okay, like that. So now this is F23 and this one is F32. So all together we have six forces. Okay, six forces and you have to calculate uh, three of them actually. Okay, now we see F12, F21, they are uh, in the opposite direction but they have the same magnitude. So we write the one down first. F12 magnitude is the same as F21. And next one is the orange color. F13 has the same magnitude as F31. And the next one is the green color. Our F23 is the same as the F32. So you don't have to calculate every one of them. You just calculate three of this one. Okay. So now we start calculating that forces. So we start with F12. Okay, F12. So F12 magnitude only. Eh? So K Q1 Q2 over this distance. That will be R12 square. Okay, K and 70 microcoulomb and 48 microcoulomb divided by distance 0 0.35 square. Okay, so now with a help calculator. 70. Microcoulomb multiply 48 microcoulomb multiply 8.99 10 to the power 9 divide by 0 0.35 square. Okay, we have 247 Newton. Okay, 247 Newton. So that means our magnitude also here the same. Okay, magnitude with the same. Eh? Now, next one is the force, the orange color F13. Okay, F13 is between this one and number 3. So we have K, Q1, Q3 over R, 1, 3 square. Be careful, it's a distance here. So the force will be K, 70 microcoulomb. And this one is negative 80 microcoulomb divided by distance. 0 0.35, 0 0.35 totally is 0 0.7 square. Okay. So we calculate the force here, 70 multiply 80, multiply 8.99, 10 power 9, divide by 0 0.7 square. Okay, we have 103 Newton, okay, 103 Newton, alright, so that is our force for F13 and also F31, and next one.
green color F23 okay F23 that will be K Q2 Q3 over R23 squared and K and this one is now 48 microcoulomb negative 80 microcoulomb distance 0 0.35 squared okay now this one is 48 times 80 times 10.99 power 9 and then divide by 0 0.35 squared okay we have 2 at 2 newton okay 2 at 2 newton Alright, so those are the magnitude. Remember our step 2, step 1 level, step 2 is to find the magnitude. Number 3 is change them into vector, ij. Okay. So, our force first, we label that forces F12 pointing to the left. That is step number 3 already. Eh? So, F12, left is negative 247i Newton. And our F21 is positive 247 Newton R I okay and then our F13 F13 this one is pointing to positive so we have 103 I Newton and F31 is opposite 103 negative I okay and the last two this one F23 2, 3, positive. So that will be positive 2 at 2. I Newton. And this one is opposite. Negative 2 at 2. I Newton. Okay. So the next step is to find their summation. We sum them up using vector method. Okay. Using vector method. Here. summation uh, for the F net force on Q1 on Q1 here net force on Q1 you have two F12 plus F13 so that's a F12 N13 is equal to F12 plus F13 okay so F12 is this one see that will be equal to negative 247i Newton and plus the F13 here 103i Newton okay so our outcome is minus 247 plus 103 so that will be negative 144i Newton Okay, that's a net force on Q1. So repeat the same thing for the F net force on Q2. You see your Q2? Both forces pointing to the right hand side. So both will be positive. So we have one red and green. So that will be F21. Okay, and then plus the next force is a green one. The F23. Okay. And then sum up your F21 is here. 247i and then plus the next force is a green one here, 23. So 2 at 2i Newton. Okay. So we sum up 247 plus 2 at 2, you get equal to 529i Newton. Okay. 5 Two nine I Newton, right? And the last one, the net force on Q three. You see that both forces pointing to the left hand side, okay? Pointing to the left hand side. So here we have the orange and the green. So that one is equal to F three one plus F three two. Okay, F three two. So now we have the orange force equal to G1 is this one? 
minus 103 I Newton and then plus the green one is 32 here uh, negative 282 I Newton okay 282 I Newton so now we sum that up we have 5 okay 5 add and this one is 3 so a negative 3 add 5 I Newton okay so that is the question number 10 okay question number 10 it is quite difficult now you can see it's actually very complicated but this is still considered quite an easy one because uh, there are only one direction okay only one direction okay so that one is the question number 10 okay question number 10 hold on for 30 seconds eh? So we come back for question number 11. Okay, question number 11. Okay, uh, question 11. Three positive particles of uh, charges 11 microcoulomb are located at the corners of an equilateral triangle of side 15 cm. Okay, equilateral. So that means the sides are all the same and the angle inside are all 60 degrees. Okay, calculate the magnitude and direction of the net force on each particle. Okay, so we draw the triangle first. Equilateral triangle, three charges, they are all the same. So we label this one as Q1, this is a Q2, and this is Q3. Okay, so our Q, all the same charges, 11 microcoulomb. the same also 11 micro coulomb and the distance are 15 cm 15 cm and 15 cm okay so find the net force magnitude and direction of net force on each particle well this is the most typical type of equation that can come out in this chapter so <coughs> first we find the net force okay we find the net force so the first thing we do, label all the forces between them. Well, we look at what happened between Q1, Q2, we tell because they have the same charge, positive. So they repel like this. Okay. So we label this one as F12. This is F21. And then between Q1, Q3, also repel. Now, this is F13, this is F31. And then between Q2 and Q3, also repel. This is F23, and this one is F32. Okay? But the lucky thing is, 
their distance are all the same, their charges are all the same, that means all the forces have the same magnitude, so let me only calculate one times only, okay, we calculate one, let's calculate F13, okay, F13, the magnitude, okay, oh sorry, F12, F12, okay, we calculate F12, the magnitude is K, Q1, Q2 over R12 squared. Okay, and the charge is 11 microcoulomb squared. And then the distance is 15 cm, 0 0.15. Okay, so we use calculator to get the value first. 11 microcoulomb. Okay, and then we square it. We get this. Multiply by 8.99, 10 to the power 9, divide by 0 0.15 square. Okay, we have 48.3 Newton. Okay, 48.3 Newtons. They are all the same value. So, afterwards, we have to change them into vector form. Now, this question, it is easy in calculating the magnitude but difficult when you change them into vectors. So now we know that all their magnitude are the same, we need to form vectors. These two are the easiest one. F23 horizontal and F32 horizontal, they are in the I direction. Positive I, negative I. Now, these 1, 2, 3, 4 are not that easy because they have components. Okay, so first we have to change or uh, find their components first like this and same thing here okay so we are draw, going to draw it one by one so that we can calculate the component one by one okay our first one is our f12 okay we look at our f12 this is our f12 Okay. And the angle here is 60 degree, and we can split it into two components, horizontal, we call the fx, and the vertical. And this one is our fy, okay, our fy. So we will find the component first, our fx is f12 cosine 60 and this one magnitude is 48.3 cosine 60 and the same thing happened to Fy except it is sine 60 so I have 48.3 sine 60 degree okay so we use uh, calculator here 48.3 Multiply by cosine 60 degree. So we get this 24.2, and this one is 48.3 sine 60 degree. So we got 41.8. Okay, 41.8. Check again. 48.3 multiply sine 60. Okay, 41.8. All right. So that's our value. But be careful, your fx pointing to the right hand side, so we have a positive i. This one pointing up, so positive j. Okay, so our value now, f12 is the vector in vector form. f12 is 24.2i plus 41.8j newton. Okay, we vectorize the first one already. And then next one is f13. Okay, f13. So we do the same thing for F13. There will be a lot of work here. Okay. Oh. And these are F13. Okay. And we can split it into two components as well. Yeah. And this one also. Okay, this is an fx. This is an fy. That one is a different fx and fy. This one belong to the 